Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9300 with me and this is running Flyme US 5. And today we are going to take a look at this ROM. So I am currently running version 5.1.6, so this is a beta version, so there are only beta versions available. But pretty much everything is working, so there are no um, major issues, so SIM and all that is working, I have just no uh, SIM in this phone. And yeah, let's, let's take a look at this ROM now. So this is the home screen. You get pretty, you get very much Chinese apps, and yeah, but you can delete it with root. And also, you need to install the G apps to get the Google Play Store here working. Um, I will provide the links for the ROM and the um, G apps in the description of this video down below. And yeah. So this is the home screen, you can um, add new, um, wall, you can change your wallpaper, wallpaper over here just like MIUI, also you can um, add widgets if you want. So there are not that much widgets um, available and also the uh, most of them are in Chinese as you can see here. Here they are in Chinese. So the, um, they are not that useful, but you can download um, other widgets from the Play Store, as I have done here. And yeah, this is the home screen without any app driver, so all apps are placed at the home screen. And uh, yeah. So this is a ROM like MIUI, so this isn't looking like AOSP or stock Android. So, um, so each app has its own design, so this is the um, file Explorer, you can have access to all your files over here. The clock app is basically like every other clock app, um, like on TouchWiz or on Stock Android, you have this four tabs over there um, with your alarm, global time, and all that other stuff. You also have the gallery, which so this is the gallery, also like MIUI. The music app, which I don't like because it's also um, it shows you Chinese music over here, which is pretty annoying. But you have, of course, you have access to your local music, but it's also it's kind of weird. I I'm not using it, so you can download any other music player from the Google Play Store. So yeah, this is the calendar app, which I personally pre I in my opinion this calendar app is pretty cool. Um, it's simple and it is enough for everything so and it, it's, it looks also great. The calculator is something I really liked because it keeps your um, data so even if you close the app all uh, your um, typed in things will still be there so if you close so let's type um, oops Yeah, this is some of the bugs. Sometimes it's it took uh, long to load an app. So let's delete everything here and type something in. And now close the, um, close the um, calculator app and open it again. And the things you have, you have typed in will still be there. After that, you have the Play Store, of course, which you need, which you get when you play uh, when you install the G apps. Also, you get an App Store. Um, which I do not use, an ebook app, a map app, um, so there are many other things you, um, things you won't use, I'm pretty sure. Um, video app, of course, um, also you can update it via OTR, let's look if we have an update, oh, there's, but also the changelog is in Chinese, so you can't read this, unfortunately, in English. And yeah, but it gets uh, updates pretty often. And uh, yeah, let's go to the settings, or let me show you the notification drawer first. So this is the new notification drawer where you have these toggles. This is just like MIUI. Um, you have the flashlight toggle. I won't show you all toggles now, but there are pretty much toggles. As you can see, there are 12 toggles, something like vib vibration. And you also can select your Wi-Fi over here. So it will turn off Wi-Fi now, and also you can select your Wi-Fi wi -Fi over here, which I personally really like. And also you have this new 
animation like in Android Lollipop, not this KitKat style animation when you pull down the status bar, like in Flyme US 4. And yeah, there's something weird notification in Chinese. So let's dismiss it and let's go to the settings now. So the settings is looking more like stock Android now. It had this tabs on the le left on Flyme US 4, but this is Flyme US 5 now, and it has more. The settings app looks more like stock Android now. So you have all this connection, wireless, and networks options over here. You have sounds and modifications over here, which I won't show you now. And there's something called personalization here. So here you can select the Flyme style icons. You can also go to the um, in install themes but I'm not installing any new themes because they are mostly in Chinese also then you can change your wallpaper papers and fonts and all that standard stuff let's go back so you have standard stuff like display and brightness and all that and also this is I think it's a multi-language ROM but I'm not pretty sure Yes, it is. It is a multi-language ROM, so there are many other languages available. I'm pretty sure your language will be available also. So let's go back. Let's go back again. You can also create a Flyme account over there. And yeah, this is pretty much a battery. So the battery life is pretty good in this ROM. It's pretty much like stock. Um, yeah, nothing to say more about this. And yeah, let's go to about phone now, the most interesting part. Um, this is running Android 5.1.1, so this isn't the fir the latest Android version, but it's acceptable, so because it's not that old, and yeah, in my opinion, it's enough to have Android 5.1.1 lollipop. Yeah. So this was pretty much everything. And sometimes it gets slow, as you have seen here. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the are the recent apps here. It they are pretty much like stock Android, the Android L style, not, um, Android L style recents over here, but they look quite different. You also get this full screen uh, recents. So let's clean all of them, and you also get the home screen over in the recent recent tasks over here you also have the um, clear all button over there to clear all basically and yeah the camera I don't know how this looks so yeah, it looks pretty simple not that much options um, yeah this is the dialer also pretty simple app and yeah let me show you the lock screen at last so this is a lock screen where you get this blurred effect when you have a notification available um, if you dismiss the notification it will get like this and if you open the device it will blur, blur out also as you can see so yeah this is pretty much everything you get with this new ROM um, I personally like this ROM because it's pretty diff different than other ROMs, just like MIUI. Um, and yeah, it's pretty stable, pretty much stable. Every everything seems seems to work, so no major issues with this ROM. So I'm using it on my S3 now uh, for two days, and I hadn't any issues since now. So I would recommend you to test or give it a try at least and yeah this was my video about Flyme OS 5 on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and yeah if you like the video please give a thumbs up or and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah peace out